Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're gonna be short and sweet. No fancy intros. I got a bunch of stuff I gotta do outside. <laughs> I gotta change the uh, chain on this still MS250. It's like a homeowner's type saw, a little bit, little bit better than homeowners, but not a professional grade. Uh, and I also gotta change the chain on a still MS192. This is the TC, it's kind of like an arborist saw. A uh, little different procedure, but essentially the same. So if you gotta change your chain, this is the video for you, okay? Coming up. All right, guys, well, the first thing I recommend everybody do, if you have an air compressor, great. If not, just uh, use some uh, brake parts cleaner after everything's cooled off. Give everything a good clean down, you know? If you got the compressed air, shoot it all in here, get all the, uh, I didn't do a very good job, but get all the sawdust out. You know, it's really, if you're gonna be the kind of guy or girl who maintains their saw, it really is a good idea. So then what you wanna do is hopefully you have your multi-tool that came with your uh, saw. It actually uh, it's got multiple functions, you know what I mean? So obviously it's got the uh, flat head. This is for adjusting the chain. This is for uh, taking the nuts off. And the other side should be uh, for spark plugs, spark plug removal. If it's not this one, it should be that one for the saw that you get it for. Okay, so number one thing you're gonna do, make sure the brake's on. You probably should wear gloves for safety, right? Go ahead, I loosen the uh, brake off, or the uh, chain off just a couple turns. Loosen the nuts off. Kind of support the uh, bar tip, okay? Once you start taking the uh, this cover off, the, the bar is going to want to slide off the sprocket. Two nuts, don't lose them. Take your cover off, spray and clean in here thoroughly. It uh, makes a big difference, okay? So then you're gonna have your chain sitting here, right? So here's your bar, your chain sitting on the sprocket. Here's a little tooth that catches and it holds the uh, bar in place. So as you loosen the chain, what actually happens is you pull the, uh, the bar closer to you. This actual mechanism slides up and down and that's what makes the chain tight, if you didn't know. So as I tighten it, I'm shooting the bar away from the sprocket more. Now it's, now it's really tight, you know, and it's sitting there. So like I said, loosen it off a couple. Don't worry about counting turns or anything like that. Take it off, watch yourself. Take your chain off. Now, if you don't already have one of these, you should really go out and get one, okay? These are the new sharpeners they came out with. I want to say a few years ago. Um, these are really good. They're considerably better and more accurate than hand sharpening. Um, you know, I would highly recommend you get one of these. Basically for me, I've sharpened this chain like 10 times. My oiler's working great and this chain still smokes when I try to cut through uh, really uh, hard wood. Like I got some ash back there I've been uh, trying to buck up. So it needs a new chain. I did sharpen the hell out of it. It's had its fun, it wants off the ride. So throw that to the side and get yourself your new chain. All right, so how do you know what chain to get? It's really important. There is a bunch of different ways to figure it out. The best way I find is just to look at the bar, okay? Because they make different bars too for different chains. All the information is on the bar. Now I'll do a close up of this. You might not be able to see it where you are. But there's a model number on the very top. Mine says 3005-000-7013. They usually like to hear the last four digits when you call the shop to look for a, a chain, okay? Otherwise, you have all the information on the side. Like this is a 16 inch bar from the uh, sprocket attachment, I think it is, to the tip. Um, and then they're gonna hook you up with the proper chain. So for this bar, the proper chain is the 23RS62, okay? Not much more information than that on there, but that's what I was told to get. And this is what they gave me. So we're gonna give her a try. Then you get your chain. Now it's sharp, obviously, watch yourself. You get it out of the box and it's totally screwed, just like this, right? And you can spend a lot of time messing around with this or you can lay it on the table. Best way to do it. Lay it on the table and start 
having a really good look at what has to happen, okay? Right here, these are, these are good ones. You got two, okay? I mean, yours might be packaged good. This, somebody just tossed this in the box. You know, you gotta see that this has to come this way, the whole rigging. All right, now what do I got? That's on the bottom. Yeah, then that's on the top. You're gonna learn how to do this yourself, but I always find it's just easier to lay it on the table and see what has to happen, you know, to get it back to where it's gotta be. Yeah, just have a good look at where your, uh, your hoops are. You know, something, they both got to slide this way, whatever the, the case may be. Then what you're going to do, you know, and this is a very beginner's video, but don't ask me, but I know a guy who put the chain on backwards his first time. <laughs> Always remember when you're putting the chain on the bar, the bar spins forward. When you're cutting into wood, you're grabbing the wood and it's shooting the chips out this way. So you got to look at your chain and figure out which way the cutting edge is. So you got your cutting edge and the rake, okay? So you always want your cutting edge going down this side. Don't install it the other way because it'll just start smoking. All right, you're gonna lay it on there like that. Come on over here. This is where opening the, pushing the bar out by opening the chain up the most helps you quite a bit. Wrap it around the sprocket. Catch that little nub there. Remember, support the saw. Try and get the tip of the saw works best. Make sure you're in the grooves all the way up. Give her a few tightens. Till the, just till the saw is, um, or the bar is kind of supported by itself. Like right now I'm in a good spot. And yeah, we're just gonna take the nuts. Now if I recall correctly, Believe it or not, there is a right way to put the nuts on. It's likely the the writing up, okay? Actually, if I'm wrong, which I very well could be, correct me in the comments for sure. Make sure your, um, everything's lined up. This particular saw, something's bent in the backside there. So I always gotta make sure I catch it back here, otherwise it's kind of cockeyed. Put your nuts on. Now what you're gonna do just tighten a little bit, like I'm talking. Like just the teeniest bit of snug, that's it. Now what we're gonna do, take the saw. I'm right-handed, I always like to kind of work on it this way. Take the brake off, okay? Slide your chain back and forth, make sure everything's running freely. And you're going to want to start tugging on your chain. Like this is way too loose, right? I can already tell. So I'm going to just give it a little more tighten here. That's doing good. And I'm pulling on the chain, okay? The chain tensioning is, is really important. I was always taught you want to pull it snug and you want that bottom of the teeth just to line up with that bar, just like that. A little bit of a snap. So I actually, I got the chain tension pretty good there just Kind of by luck, really. And that's with the with the break off, okay? Try it in a couple different spots. Might be a smidge too tight. I do have to kind of pull it up a bit. But um, when you start cutting the wood, the chain is gonna flex big time. So this will get a little bit more sloppy as we go. But other than that, that is changing the chain on the MS250. And yeah, like I said, I would recommend getting one of these. Trust me, I worked, I worked that chain to its death. I had it for at least a year. And I cut fairly regularly, not, not too much, but. And then last, just snug up your bolts, okay? Don't reef them down so hard. You wanna make sure that you can still run the chain freely, okay? All right, guys, well, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this was short and sweet for you. Very uh, simple procedure. You know, a lot of guys might be having a laugh here, but you know, not everyone knows how to change the chain. So people just bring the machine right in get it serviced. Uh, this is the first video of a few videos I'm gonna do on this particular MS250 and the 192 that I have. 
I recently went through and uh, redid the carbs and gave these things a really good tune up. For some reason, I just had to rip and tear, turn and burn as they call it, and uh, get them fixed up and get out there. But um, next time I'll record a good video and I'll show you guys how to pull the jets out, give them a good cleaning, or just, just swap the whole card, which is typically what you do with these. They're so affordable. But anyways, guys, if you're into this chainsaw kind of stuff or uh, homesteading, definitely consider subscribing. We're a uh, Canadian homesteading channel. We put out a lot of how-to videos as well. And uh, we're out here in Niagara Falls side, just, you know, having fun, getting dirty, which is what I gotta do now. I gotta get out there and get the rest of this ash bucked up. So I'll catch up to you guys next time. Take care.